Hello guys, today we have um, with us Mr. Ruthvi Jadav who has just been placed at Capgemini with a package of 4.5 LPA. So we welcome Ruthvi, welcome to Talent Battle. Uh, hello sir and hello everyone who is watching this video. Okay, so Ruthvi, first of all we would like to know how you are feeling today on getting placed and starting your corporate journey. Uh, sir, absolutely very fine because uh, it was a dream as, uh, as an engineer. Everyone is uh, dreaming about their placements and getting a company like Capgemini uh, is everyone's dream. So I'm feeling very lucky. Mm, great, great. So congratulations from our side on getting placed in uh, such a big MNC and starting your career with Capgemini. So Ruthvi, just starting with the, I would like to know what was the, uh, like how many rounds were there in first of all Capgemini? Uh, sir, Capgemini was having four rounds. Okay. Uh, the round was divided into four parts. Okay. And what job role they are uh, they have offered you? Sir, software engineer. Okay. And uh, did did Capgemini came for just uh, the single job role or some different packages and different job roles? Uh, actually, depending on the performance in the round one, that is technical assessment, and there was also another job. Okay. job role uh, that was something related to cis i'm not exactly uh, aware of what is that cis but it is something that is uh networking and those things were there in their uh, syllabus and curriculum for them okay so the different test pattern was carried out or uh, the same uh, test pattern was there for the test was same uh, yes sir test was same uh but oh, the, the overall performance in that test was the criteria that capgemini has decided if their performance was low uh, then you are you will be having uh, different tests that is different uh, interviews okay. and if your performance is moderate and high then the software engineer role was offered for them okay okay so starting with the this was an on campus drive or off campus drive uh, sir on campus on campus okay. and uh, the rounds were taken offline or online uh, sir every round was online okay great so ruthvi starting with your first round what was it and how it was carried on uh, sir, basically the first round was technical round, that is some MCQs and all. Uh, okay. The first round was divided into two parts, that is English and uh, some technical questions like uh, pseudocode and all. Okay. So, uh, what was the duration of the online assessment? Uh, sir, 60 minutes plus the gamified rounds. Okay. So, how many sections were there? Uh, sir, basically uh, technical sections were divided into three parts. First was verbal and then second was technical MCQs and then the gamified rounds. Okay. That is three, three sections were there. Okay. In total, three sections were there. So yes, sir. Uh, let's go in brief uh, to particular each and every section. So tell us about the yes, first sir. round, how many topics, like uh, what were the topics uh, that were mostly asked in the first round, like first section and uh, let's go section by section. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, firstly, the platform used by Capgemini was CoQuiz platform that is Aon. Okay. And uh, the questions like uh, it was the first round was having some verbal questions. Uh, there were 20 questions and 20 minutes. Uh, in it, uh, the questions were like mostly the questions were based on paragraph. Uh, the paragraph size was also big. I would say that it was uh, medium to hard level questions because the size of paragraph was, was very big and it was very difficult to uh, read the paragraphs in the same time. That is 20 minutes. That is one question. One minute for each question was given by them so basically they were looking like time management also in the similar way okay. and uh, some active voice passive voice uh, then sentence corrections para jumbles were there something related to that also okay so this was the first uh, section based on uh, yes sir 20 minutes okay all english questions were asked yes sir all english questions okay so moving ahead to the logical part or the numerical ability part yes sir uh, sir, after completion of English, uh, there was an elimination round. Those okay. who scored very less marks, uh, they were eliminated in this uh, English round itself. Okay. And uh, afterwards, those who qualified, they were given a second round. That is, technical questions were there. Uh, this question, this section, uh, this section was also divided in two parts. Uh, one was based on pseudocodes and DSA MCQs, and the second was uh, cloud and MS Office uh, questions related. Those were only fifteen questions related to cloud. That is, this total round, uh, that is section, be considered of forty questions, forty minutes. Okay. All were MCQ type of questions? Uh, yes, sir. All the, all the questions were MCQ okay. and some uh, in the section one also, that is a uh, subsection of section two, that is pseudocodes. Uh, there were many pseudocodes and uh, 
DSA MCQs were also there, like trees and graphs were also included uh, by Capgemini this time. Okay. So were you able to answer all the questions or you were missing out on some points? Uh, sir, uh, DSA part was a little bit tricky, but okay. it was very easy as compared to other exams. Uh, pseudo codes, the length of the pseudo code was very tough. That is, uh, the codes were very big. It was very difficult to imagine the uh, logic and trace the logic. So we literally had to sit with pen and paper for cracking this uh, pseudo codes. Okay. So were you able to manage the time properly? Uh, yes, sir. It was difficult, but I managed. Some of the questions were not answered by me. Uh, I gave much of the time to pseudo code round only. And afterwards, the cloud and MS office questions were very easy. So I managed to cover these questions in just 10 minutes only. Okay. And were we able to like switch between the sections or yes, sir. between the questions? Yes, sir. We, we were able to switch between the sections also. Okay. And uh, you didn't mention any important topics for the uh, aptitude part. Um, sir, aptitude, uh, Capgemini was not having aptitude this time. Okay. Uh, the basic was only verbal and directly the technical assessment. Okay. And were there any hands-on coding questions? Uh, yes, sir. I will come to that. Uh, after this round, uh, this round also has an elimination round. Okay. Uh, after completion of this round, the exam ends. Uh, that is, first part of their hiring process will end here. Then those who get selected, the list will come to the college or else you will get the email also that you have been qualified. So depending on this overall performance, that is English round also and this technical round, you will be qualified into three sections. That is uh, 4.5, 5.7 and uh, 7 package. That is okay. three rounds, uh, three packages. So okay. those who were qualified for a five and seven, they were having coding assessment. And in, in that coding assessment, uh, there were, there were two, two questions. And this round was also held uh, just after two to three days. They were, they had given some time and, uh, two questions. One was very easy as come, that is arrays and linguist based. And second was totally tough. That is uh, trees and graphs. Uh, also some, uh, DSA based questions were there. Uh, two questions were there. Uh, the platform also was same. That is Coquit platform was there. Um, yeah, that was the coding round. And after clearing this coding round, uh, all the, all the candidates, that is candidates who were selected for 4.5 uh, package and five and seven, their, uh, mails were triggered about communication round. Okay. So we had a communication round over there and elimination was also there for coding. Okay. So after the coding round, uh, uh you were triggered to communication based round. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That this was the third part of their hiring process. Communication was the third round. Okay. And that was uh, AI enabled communication round. Yes, sir. AI enabled communication round. Uh, it was just, uh, 45 minutes. Okay. And what type of like questions were there? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, some questions like we have to type on the laptop keyboard that is fill in the blanks, uh, having some grammar, uh, some questions we have to repeat after them. And storytelling was there. They will play the audio once and we have to retell the story again to them. After that, uh, some passage also was there. That is, they were they gave, gave us a topic that is, uh, for example, what is your dream house? So given they have given some one minute time and we have to speak on them. And though Capgemini has mentioned that it was not an elimination round, but uh, it was observed that some of the students after this round didn't even get the mails for inter interview. So okay. mostly consider it as an elimination round. Okay. So like after this all, uh, you didn't had any type of, uh, hands-on coding questions till now in the first. Uh, no, sir. Okay. So, no, sir. okay. So when did you got your results for the first online assessment? Uh, sir, uh, college has, uh, the, the, that is Capgemini has sent the list to the TPO and call, uh, the TPO has sent, uh, the mail to the, sorry, send the, uh, WhatsApp message to us. And then we find uh, found a list that uh, our name is there or not. And those were eliminated, their name was not there. And after that, uh, after some time, uh, mails were also triggered to us. Okay. So moving ahead, uh, what was the second round? Sir, second round was a uh, coding round. Coding round. Okay. Now it yes, comes sir. the coding round. It was not the part of first Yes, round. sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So what type of uh, round it was? How many questions were there? Sir, two questions were there. Okay. Sir, I forgot one round. Uh, it, it was the gaming round after aptitude. That is after technical round. Uh, we were thrown to a great gaming round and there were six games, which okay. I have studied from talent battle platform only. Okay. Okay. So what type of, uh, like games they were? Uh, sir, there were six types of games. Uh, firstly, uh, the, we have to put the ball in the goal. That is by switching the, all those puzzles, like questions and pattern matching was there. Okay. Um, 
there were many questions that is six 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 types of games were there and we have to complete it with, uh, between the stipulated time the more uh, you pass the levels the better it is to get a high high score okay and what was your overall experience with the first online assessment was it easy or was it difficult or moderate uh, sir it was moderate i would not say it was easy because time management was the most important uh, factor capgemini has considered this time okay and based on questions like uh, uh, was there were repeated type of questions or uh, like uh, were there were any questions that you have gone through through your preparation when you were preparing for the company uh, or all the questions were uh, something new or out of the box type sir english questions were literally out of the box we have not practiced and learned also uh, like it was very new okay. and uh, talking about pseudo codes uh, i have practiced similar types of pseudo code questions so i can i i was able to manage pseudo codes and uh, ms office and cloud related questions were also new okay so it was moderate level but questions were new yes sir yes sir yes sir okay so we were talking about the second round that was coding round so you mentioned yes, that there were two 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 codes which you have to write yes sir and, yes sir uh, so what was the time limit uh, sir 45 minutes were there and you can switch between the codes two codes were there and on the coqs platform okay uh, do you remember what were the like topics or what were questions uh, yes sir uh, the first question uh, was that uh, simple array was given and some operations related to that and some of my friends got a uh, string related problems very easy it was very easy that is sorting and uh, hash map uh, something related to that only okay so first first question was everyone was able to crack the first question but the second question only in our college only 3 to 4 people have cracked that second question so it was very tough okay so you were one of them uh, no sir <laughs> i didn't got the i didn't crack okay no issues okay so you were able to crack uh, the first question you all yes, the sir. test cases were passed in the first question uh yes sir okay and in the second question uh, none of the test case passed uh, no sir it was uh, i was not able to uh, consider the problem on the it was very tough okay it was based on uh, sir dsa D totally dsa okay okay so after that after your second round so what what was the third, third round and when it was like after how much gap uh after the this coding round or some few uh, days no after. sir after two days we have got the mail of communication round okay again communication round yes sir third round was the communication okay after coding that was a communication round and after that interview was there okay that communication round that you, we have talked earlier that was yes, sir. after this coding assessment yes sir yes sir so first was the online assessment considering uh, three yes. sections and one gaming section moving ahead yes. it was encoding part uh, and uh, at yes, last sir. was a communication based round communication round okay so as we have discussed all uh, this stuff so now we should move on to the interviews part right yes sir so what was your first round of interview uh, sir basically capgemini has uh, tr and hr questions mixed uh, asked by only one one person okay so what was and depending upon the yes sir uh, the overall duration was uh, 18 to 20 minutes okay it was a short interview yes sir okay. uh, sir it was uh, on their platform only that is superset platform is there okay uh, interview was scheduled on that platform only okay so now let's deep dive into the interview type of questions so how many questions were asked and what were the questions uh, sir basically i would say that uh, resume which we have uploaded on the superset portal it matters uh the interviewers were literally uh, watching my and reading things from my resume and asking one one questions from it okay. so firstly after introduction uh, he said me to introduce myself and after introduction he came to know that i am from ece so he directly asked me about dsa uh, do you have any knowledge about dsa so i was having uh, i have studied dsa so i said yes sir so he asked me uh, what is the level of your dsa that is you are from ece so what kind of knowledge you will, you, you are having i said sir i can solve, i can tell you orally that is uh, i can code some basic parts and um, yes i i know dsa so he tell me explain linguist in deep okay right from the creation of nodes and how head pointer is pointed and what are the types of linked list that is doubly linked list and singly linked list uh, this 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 all i i had explained to him 
and after that he was satisfied that being an ac he was he is able to answer so he deep dive into my uh, resume okay so after ring after that he explained me, uh, after that he asked me that uh, how ling list is different from array so tell me some differentiating points so i explained that also and i had mentioned that i have uh, did an uh, training at google cloud so he asked about that what is it and how did you got into it and all these things so after that uh, he started asking questions on cloud uh, name some deployment models uh, that is public private and all these uh, simple simple questions related to cloud and uh, he asked me one question like uh, most of the companies today are working on aws so how did you see how do you find a difference between aws and gcp so mm-hmm. this was a tricky question i didn't even study uh, like i have not prepared for this question so i answered this question in a very uh, tricky manner that um because gcp is just uh, is a new technology and many companies uh, have not been switched to gcp that is they have been already working on aws so it is hard to shift to gcp so many startups recently are working on gcp so i had uh, answered this question in this way so he was uh, yes uh, he was impressed at this and afterward uh, he started asking questions on java that is he asked me what are the pillars of oops and explain uh, polymorphism explain mm-hmm. types of polymorphism that is runtime and uh, compile time polymorphism difference between them uh, so now he started to ask me hr questions like why do you want to join it se- it sector <clears throat> so i said uh, it is the most dominant sector so everyone is moving and uh, the career secure sec- we, ha- we can secure our career in it so he said uh, if uh, mechanical engineer is there so are you saying that mechanical engineering is not safe so he started uh, cross questioning my answers so uh, i i answered those question also and uh, Uh, again he started ask, asking me uh, something related to uh, what are the activities you did in lockdown how did you manage and uh, little after ask, asking two three hr questions again he moved to some technical part okay. i was i thought that my interview is going to over at this point but again he started to asking uh, technical point uh, technical parts so he said me what is exception handling in java and i explained ex- exception handling also types he asked me types so i was not aware of the types so i i said sir i am not aware of the types of exception handling and uh, gave, he asked me the logic of coding of prime number so i uh, just i i said that uh, should i sp- uh, present the screen so he said no just tell me the logic okay. so i explained him the logic and afterwards he asked me what is difference between overloading and overriding so i explained two points and he said okay uh, that's enough and uh, any questions for me was the, his last question to me and uh, after that the interview was over okay so what were your overall experience after the interview Uh, sir interview was a bit easy but uh, it was totally based on resume i had prepared very well on the resume so i i was able to answer but for those students who were not prepared resume it was hard because they were asking random questions uh, some of my friends uh, being from electronics they were asked some electronics core questions also okay but you were not asked on any i think electronics uh, no type. sir no sir okay. i was not asked So that was the last round or, or uh, there were any other round after this also no this was the last round okay so uh, when did you got your results after the last round uh sir it took 10 days it took 10 days okay yes, so sir. anything now you want to mention or any advices or you want to share your preparation journey your strategies uh, yes sir sure uh, sir i found that in this entire uh, capgemini process uh we usually neglect verbal part we think that we we will solve and we are, we are we will be able to solve verbal part and we just focus on technical things but uh, after this round i found that uh, time management in in the verbal section we usually think that it will be very easy and but this time cap jemena has given big passages to read those passages and questions based on it were very difficult uh, that is time consuming and yes uh, we should practice english questions also and uh, talking about gamified rounds i have totally referred uh, talent battles youtube video for that and i found every game is explained very well and some tricks related to it so i referred that and uh, talking about technical code pseudo codes were also i i have practiced very well so practice pseudo codes also uh, sometimes they just trick you by looking at the length of the code just do not get uh, that is do not get panic we just have to uh, look properly then you'll identify the logic behind it and interview also prepare your resume very well even if there is uh, some kind of mention you have mentioned some skills and you are not able to answer so it will create a bad impression so make sure you prepare very well your resume okay so great rutvij you have mentioned each and everything in very clear and crisp way uh, so that uh, your fellow mates or your juniors those who are planning 
to enter into capgemini they would get a quick insight what is all going to happen in the hiring process so yes, once sir. again uh, thank you rutvij for coming here today and sharing your uh, valuable experience with us and to your audience so i would also uh, like to mention uh, once again that rutvij is uh, placed in uh, more than uh, two companies uh, and rutvij will come once again on our channel to share some other interview experiences as well so thank you rutvij for being here today i would uh, congratulate you once again from whole team of talent battle on getting placed in kelsey and right thank you so much sir uh, thank you rutvij have a nice day thank you sir and to our audience those who are watching this video if you have any doubts regarding our master class batches or anything related to talent battle courses or uh, to this particular video you can comment down or you can also reach us on our social media handles